Hey yo, what's good everybody? Hope you're having a blessed day. And you know what, if your day's not going great so far, hopefully we can change that because today is not just any regular day. Now you see, today is Subscriber Sunday, the day where I spotlight you guys. Now real quick, I just wanna say, if you were not picked for today's Subscriber Sunday, don't feel sad, no, 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 don't do that. Because you see, we're about to do a live stream at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so six o'clock for you guys on the East Coast, where I'm going to be watching you guys' highlights during the live stream for the whole live stream. So that means I'm gonna be getting to a lot of you guys. So right now, I want you guys to leave a like on this video if you guys are going to be in that live stream. All right, now for everyone that's watching this video, I only have one rule when it comes to Subscriber Sunday. You see, because these are my subscribers highlights, I don't want to see any hate in the comments section. The whole point of Subscriber Sunday is to help get these kids better through my dialogue as well as the comments and tips that you guys are leaving in the comments section, as well as to get these kids some exposure so that they can get their highlights onto a bigger platform. And so you coming in here with that negativity, just it, it, it doesn't vibe with that. And besides, you're just cursing yourself when you come with those hateful words, so let's just stay positive. All right, now, submitting your highlights for next week's Subscriber Sunday sounds like something that is interesting to you. I'm about to break down how to enter for that. But if you're here just to get straight into the highlights, I'm about to leave a time code uh, right there so you guys can get straight into the action. Now, if you want to submit your highlights for next week's Subscriber Sunday, here's how you do it. Firstly, you need to be subscribed to the channel. I mean, that's the Subscriber in Subscriber Sunday, so I mean, it just kind of makes sense. Now, it's real simple. All you have to do is just scroll down just a little bit. Not, not a lot, just, just a little bit. Hit that little red button. It's gonna say that you're subscribed. And then you could also turn on those notifications. There's a little bell icon. And then when you click that, you're never gonna miss any videos that I post. And I, I, I kind of post a lot. So you're gonna wanna stay on top of that. Secondly, you're gonna wanna go follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's the same name, so it's real simple. And that's where you guys are gonna be submitting your highlights. And thirdly, you need to send me a link to your highlight a picture of you playing as well as a short description about yourself now i want to applaud you guys because you guys actually did a pretty good job this week with sending your pictures in but just a heads up for you guys who are going to be submitting your highlights you need to send all three things if you're going to be fully submitted for next week's subscriber sunday all right did you guys get all that all right now let's talk about today's player so today's player is coming all the way from quebec canada you know we got to get international sometimes and you know in the message that this guy sent me he said that he was making a couple big time plays so you know I gotta see if he's actually doing that. So today we're going to be looking at six foot one, 215 pound running back slash linebacker, Keanu Yazbek. All right, so I wanna see what kind of talent my man Keanu's got, as well as I kinda wanna see what kind of talent that Quebec's producing. So let's get right into this video. Three, two, one. Psh. All right, let's see what my man Keanu's doing out there in Quebec. Let go. All right, so I've seen, I think, one or two players from Canada, so I'm still, still kind of new with the with the Canadian football scene. So let's see what the kids got. All right, getting off that edge, okay? Great use of your hands in the be. Hold up, hold up. For for all you DNs, I, I just want to point this out real quick. Look at how he uses his hands to get off of these blocks on the edge. So he goes immediately bats this guy's hands down. Immediately bats that guy's down, hands down. So we can go out there and chase the running back down. That is great use of your hands, bro. Like for real. Okay, just absolutely overpowered that dude. Okay. I see you out here. Suplexing him, let's go. I will never understand why. Hey, let's go. We're going the other way with that. But I would never understand why Canadian football has the field goal post in the middle of the, in the middle of the end zone. That makes no sense to me, bro. Th your your use of your hands. You're extremely good with like your technique at the defensive end with your hand placement is amazing. Like that that alone is going to set you apart from a ton of DNs at the next level. The fact that you can get these offensive linemen's hands off of you so frequently and so consistently, bruh. And dude, you're extremely fast and strong getting into the backfield. Yeah, no, you're, you're every play getting the linebacker, getting that lineman's hands off of you. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, see us at some running back. All right, running through him. Okay, just run, running straight through him. Let's go. And break. Okay, I see you on here. I don't know how you got out of that, but you did. So, again, still getting these dudes' hands off of you. That is so important. I don't know if that was by design or a mistake. Take that stiff arm. Take that stiff arm. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> oh, jeez. That block was absolutely vicious. So on plays like that, I know it's always fun to get a big hit, but just beware that at the next level, that is not a very secure tackle. Okay, just hurdling the dude though, but that is not a very secure tackle, so just make sure to wrap to wrap him up. I know you had the sideline to your favor, so you could just kind of knock him out of bounds, but it's just something to uh, keep your mind on. Get off me. Okay, I see you moving out here at running back. I still think your best position is defensive end. Like, you're... Your ability to get linemen's hands off of you, and not even off of you, like to the point where they can't even get a hand on you. You're just knocking it down before they even have a chance. Like, that is some. I thought you were about to one hand that. I was about to lose it. I was about to lose it. But yo, know, you you went and did the tip drill on for the for the defense. But um, yeah, no, your ability to get linemen's hands off of you is extremely good. It looks like you have longer arms than than normal so i think that's what's helping you but keep on keep on developing and working at that because that's what's going to separate you from the rest of the people in canada and potentially even get you a call into the uh, u.s for colleges and we going the other way with that it's just funny that you're wearing number 52 at running back that's that's hilarious and you're actually balling out on these kids Just running through him. It's like, hey, okay, you want to tackle me? I'm going to make sure you feel it. Yeah, no, these dudes don't even want to tackle you anymore. Like, you you could, you could tell that you've been, you've been inflicting punishment on them the whole game before. So that they, they, they're at the end of the game, they're like, I don't even want to go up against this guy no more. He too, he too aggressive out here. But like this dude is just bouncing off of you. <laughs> there you go. And you got some coverage too. Like I see you I see you making plays in the passing game as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Firstly, do you know how hard you have to hit someone to knock over not only... Okay, first off, it's not only this kid. It's the two other people that are holding on trying to make the tackle. And you knock all three of them over. Bruh. <laughs> Just running through them. Just sit down, like, just stop trying. <laughs> the two for one. Okay, Keanu, I see you making a name for yourself out there in Quebec. But yeah, no, like I was saying, the most impressive thing that I saw throughout your highlight tape was how efficiently you're able to get Lyman's hands off of you so that you can go and get after the quarterback or the running back. After looking at your highlight, I definitely think that defensive end is your natural position and I would continue to grow in that position. Look at guys like JJ Watt and Von Miller and look at how they're able to get Lyman's hands off of them and look at how they mix in their speed and power moves so that they're able to mix it up so that the Lyman doesn't know what kind of move that they're about to see on each play and you're only a sophomore going into your junior year so you still got some time to develop and become an absolute monster but what you guys think of Keanu be sure to comment it down below all right guys with that all being said hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to leave this video a like yo can we get this video to 400 likes because that lets me know that you guys enjoyed this video also don't forget to comment down below any other players that you guys want me to see because that's all I know who you guys want me to watch this weekend 
help grow this channel. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you guys can stay on top of all the videos that I am coming out with. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, guys, so with that all being said, hope that you guys all have a blessed, blessed, blessed rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.